Dear students, we will be covering up your thematic perception test. This is something about your story writing. Why is it called thematic perception test? Because it's got something to do with your perception also. And it identifies the theme, the kind of theme which you write. Everyone has a theme to observe. If I take you to a cloth store, you will pick a different kind of cloth and somebody may pick a different kind of cloth. Everybody has a thought process of their own. They tend to pick that and reflect that. There are many people who are unfortunately copying the YouTube stories. They are copying from here and their sources. And they are just copying the idea without applying their mind. Unfortunately, this is a risky proposition where they rarely get selected. I won't say they don't get selected, but rarely get selected. Because what happens that if you are copying someone's thought process or someone's this thing, so it's not originally yours. Now what is originally yours? Your biodata is yours, your set of pattern of thought and personality is yours and one can easily predict that this kind of personality you possess. And when you talk, that personality also comes out into open. So let's go ahead and understand this. Thematic perception test, we call it story writing. This is a picture shown to you. Evidently, you can see that there is a man shaking hands with the other person and probably a lot of carrots or people in the uniform or other people standing there. There is a motorcycle standing nearby. You cannot ignore the picture and write a story that once my mother went with father and they had a picnic and then they came back. That means you are not paying attention to what is shown to you. Remember one thing which is very particularly important in this is your just a sec, is your SOR approach. What do you mean by SOR approach? This is stimulus, which we call stimulus means what is forcing you to think. Object is who is you and R is response which you write of the story. There, whenever you will see a picture and then you will respond, it is very evident that the picture and the response in between them is you. Why? Suppose I show you this picture and tell you to write the story, the kind of character you will create, the kind of thought process, the kind of action you will create of this character will be similar to you. There are some people in the present world who want to look good, 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 good. There are some people who want to look natural. Not too good, not too bad. That means they are not talking bad, but they are not trying to be the best, 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 best. They are trying to be practical, real and nice. We want them. We don't want you to pick up an artificial face. Let me tell you, in many of the boys have complained these days that many a time in marriage we come across the new beauty parlor culture where suddenly you find that a girl who is sitting in the stage has been over decorated. Unfortunately, it happens in many of the marriages. To the extent that unfortunately people try to change their skin color also just because for the sake of marriage. I don't understand what's wrong with your skin color. You may dark but you may be beautiful. You may be fair, so what? You may be uh, in the British, so what? But people often paint themselves to white. A psychological thought process. Similarly, in any story you try to paint yourself as one of the best persons. Unnatural. And what really happens in the next day after the marriage? The person is different. You go down for a sagi, then you suddenly say, is this the same girl? Generally, girls are decorated, that is why. Even boys are also decorated. Now, the trend is picking up that the boys are also going to a beauty parlor. Well, I hope sometimes the whole marriage doesn't get delayed because everybody was in the beauty parlor and the stage was ransacked. But nevertheless, this is part and parcel of day to day thought process. So, don't try to pretend too much, try to be yourself. Your biodata is already speaking who you are. 
Your PIQ is yelling, shouting loud and clear that it is you. So where is the problem? So all of you please pay attention. Stimulus, what you are shown, the kind of character you create and the kind of action is your thought process. Of course, that the, the reaction and the result is basically response. But how did you think of that response? Why did you think of that response? What you thought is you. So this story is actually, story writing is not a creative art test. It's not an editorial test. It is a psychological test where you will automatically, it is perceived if you are being truthful. If you are being truthful, I repeat, if you are being truthful, you will automatically think like you are. And also relevantly to the situation. There is a possibility that somebody would say, Sir, I have never been in this situation, so how will I think relevantly? Now here intelligence comes into action. Where you will think, what will a person do as an officer? Or as a cadet officer? Or as a cadet? Sometimes you must have seen it in your school. And you would have thought of a good behavior, a good thing, how to complete the responsibility. I am not talking of excellence of every any kind, I am talking of your naturality. So this is thematic. Now what do you mean by positive action? See, I always believe that story writing can be taught in different ways. But the first part of story uh, writing is story perception. How you see the picture. Picture perception is the case. So when you see a picture, how do you grade it mentally is what I am trying to teach you by positive action. See, I will give you a very good example. Whenever you are meeting someone, say that is a person of your age, young and fine, your first approach would be to become friendly with that person because it is of your age group. Probably you will come across many points where you can discuss and become friendly with each other. Because they look like one. But if you find a man of middle-aged person and you are a young boy of just 18, 19, then your approach to that person would be like fatherly, uncle, someone senior. You probably will not be discussing unnecessarily out of your own. If he asks you something, you may answer that, that's okay. But your perception has changed the responses and the kind of thought process. Yes or no? Similarly, if you will come across a lady, young lady, you may go with, because of a socio-cultural atmosphere, you may not open up to that extent. But say you were in Europe or America, you would, have, you would open up a little more. Because their gender hesitation is less. But in India, we have certain amount of gender reservations, so we tend to open up slowly. So you may go very slowly across the person, right? But suppose that lady, that girl is little middle-aged, you naturally will treat her auntie. If similarly that man was old-aged, you would treat him differently as a grandfather, help him sit down, give him some facilities, that's it. Similarly, old lady, you would also do the same. So you know what happens, your perception of the person identifies your response, yes or no. And if your perception is good, your response would also automatically be relevant. And if it is common sense and logical, it will be good, yes or no. So the intelligent minds always identifies individuals before reacting to them. And this is the beauty of the brain. It begins from identification. Now somebody who is overconfident or somebody who is underconfident, they will respond differently. Overconfident may probably not waste time in definition and start writing whatever X, Y, Z. Probably in the process will do mistake. None. Somebody underconfident will not be able to decide what kind of character they have to create and they will not be able to emit a response. Done? Right? 
But somebody who is confident as keeping his logical sense alive will be able to identify the candidate, read the stimulus, read the situation and respond accordingly. Am I right? Yes or no? In every story writing, you are supposed to create a hero. Hero doesn't mean a filmy hero, not the Bollywood kind, please. And neither the South Indian kinds where you get somebody shooting a bullet and that person runs and catches the bullet by his own finger. I mean, all these kind of crap stories we are not looking at. We are also not looking at Flash and Gordon story or Magic the Mandrake, I mean, uh, Mandrake the Magician or Phantom the Ghost, or all these kind of stories, right? Or any kind of things which you must have read in any comics at some point of time. We are looking at your day-to-day -day life stories. Where your day-to-day -day management, the day-to-day -day problems have to be written. We don't want you to be imaginative out of the level that your stories reflect only dream, dream, dream and dream. We want you to write something which speaks about your character in the right perspective. And the moment you do that, we're going to identify that, okay, you are on the right track. So here we go. In this picture, you can see, clearly see that there are two people shaking hands, probably. This bullet, the carrot standing. You can believe it as an NCC situation, if you, are, if you know about NCC. And if you do not know about it, you can also take it as an armed forces or a police contingent. Then accordingly, you can create a hero that so-and-so arrived in the bullet, he met the people, then he briefed the people, then together they did this, this, this. Now as a police people, you may do what? You may, with all these number of people, you may do a flag march or you may try to surround a place to catch somebody with all the intelligence and the planning. You can write it down. So and so was told that this, this he called all the people. He told them that they will be making a plan to catch so and so. And they decided that it has to be intelligently done so that everybody is safe. Every father, every father, every officer, Every responsible person, whenever he takes any calculation, has the proactive vision to think of safety of their family first, rather than their delivery. There are many people who are here and many people who would be listening to me, inspired by movies where the dead delivery will be something which is fantabulous, which is fantasy. But we don't want you to live in fantasy or in fantabulous condition to the extent that you short live. We want you to live long, we want you to retire, we want you to settle down. And moment you will stay long, our forces will also feel the strength of yours, presence. No forces want that their soldiers should be dumped in the very first moment. Is it clear to all of you? So here we go about this, that your planning is there, where you thought of them, and then they made an action and got the person, number one. Now here, while imagining the action, you may imagine the act situation too complicated, you may imagine the situation relevantly, you may imagine the situation too simple. If you imagine the too simple that they went, then they found that those two people were just sitting and they caught hold of him and got them. I probably think that your deep thought will not come into expression. But if you write that there, there was huge problem, this also, that also, and then they did this, I think you are complicating the situation beyond limit. And thus giving, a, a, thus giving an impression that you have a complicated thought process yourself. I mean, a pitch, every situation generally has one or two challenges not 10, 20 of them. So if you imagine that there is one or two challenges and they sorted it out, right? Number two, if you want to do ma march flag or, you know, a flag march, which we call as, where you, you know, take the flag and walk over and try to make peace in every other place that you can. If you want to use it as an independence day parade, then he set up example, organized them properly, made them practice, and they went on to win the Republic Day Parade properly, yes or no, because in Independence Day we don't have a parade, but in Republic Day we have a parade god, you can write that. So this can be one of the stories, it's clear. Now what do you mean by positive action? In this, there is no pain, there is no negative element. You can take it as a situation, 
it has to be positively dealt with the right action, right? That is why it is called positive action. So positive action will identify that, okay, we can create a character like this, because the picture is showing this. But suppose there is another kind of picture. Uh, just a second. Now there is another kind of picture again, positive action in this. There is a person speaking and talking to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 8 people under a tree. You may have played sports and you must have briefed the uh, team. The football team has more players. But maybe one person is late so they explain or the captain explain everyone how they want to play. And you can write a story of that. This gentleman who has been playing cricket can write a story on how to play. This is a person who has gone to the village and where people can do that. There is a girl who has been given a chance how to train people into you know, Kathak or anything. Then she sat down and then she explained to everyone. See, Kathak is no gender bias. Everybody can learn it. But any dance competition or maybe may, may have been a Kathak person who wanted to choreograph for a group song for Republic Day or Independence Day celebration in the school or college, whatever you want to write. You can write it. Similarly, if you have also done any activity where you have taught your students, you can also write that. There are n number of examples possible for n number of people here. Yes or no? So what is positive action? Because there is nothing negative in this. There is no point to create a negative element. If you think of a negative situation in spite of a positive situation of a post positive possibility, then it means that your thought process is negative. Am I right? So let's go about that. Next. We have another positive thing here. People who are sitting are looking old. You can evidently see farmer kind of person and a person wearing a coat. Now this person can be a doctor because generally he is giving that impression. Or he can be a district magistrate, or he can be somebody that because the dress also defines, your logic also works. By now 16 years plus of age sitting here, you all have a logical bent of mind, who, when, where, yes or no. So you can write that. You can write an engineer, maybe an irrigation engineer, understanding the problems of the farmer and then after helping them to do it. Maybe, maybe you can write down, you can write down anything you want to write. Again, while writing your action, don't try to have a question mark in it. He's trying to, no, no trying to. He did it. You can go. Your language is going to make all the difference. If you're confident, so and so went, he approached, he did this, and then he convinced them, and then he got it done. Trying is basically lack of confidence when you keep wondering whether it will go right or wrong. But when you are confident and you are doing something logical, there is no reason that you should lack confidence. Is it clear? Okay. We go further. Here are two people again a positive action which we have like a marathon race or maybe a football preparation or maybe some kind of running or maybe running up the hill to improve the stamina which often people do. And this can be for everyone, every sports person. Even for a choreographing person also to make them physically fit, they made them do the running so that they can have more stamina. This can be anyways. You get in the point. It can be a health awareness. It can be a, a social run for creating a social situation, you know, for giving support to corona victims or something or the other blah, 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 x, y. No, no issues. I've said that. You can always think of a run also. You can think of a game competition. There can be a number of things. So remember, positive action you can create. And then you can create a relevant character who did this and went through it. You getting the point? We are open to analysis of your stories. But general ideas I can give you, I don't want to give you stereotype stories to learn. Because then what will happen, your mind will get restricted to only those thought processes. So I'm giving you ideas, but I'm also looking forward to your stories coming up to me. Then I'll analyze and give it back to you. 
this way you will understand how the intricacies of evaluation is done the prominent part is less taken into consideration the small slips are taken more into consideration and it always happens if you are conscious also you may write few words which are negative in the slip and that can speak enormous about your personality and your psychology is it clear then we come down of this situation this can be taken as a drowning but this can also be taken as a champion basically it's being coming out as a champion because his hand is here any no despair so maybe there is a person who was very good fisherman's son or a person who was good in swimming he kept practicing and he became an excellent person and then he went on to break the record of english channel or whatever you know i think with your energy there should be josh but that josh should be with hosh that means if anything which you really want to achieve in your life should be there evident but there should be a desire to do it you shouldn't be latent sitting that somebody is going to kick your butt then you moving up no you should have the inner desire we call this proactive belief in yourself right proactive thought and a spirit of positivity in you there should be something which you want to achieve so this can be there is it clear then we come down to one more picture this is of a one man a middle aged lady a middle aged person all of them talking to each other providently everybody will have different perceptions this is a familial kind of thing relative function or relative crisis or anything for that matter i always feel that since if you are good observer you will automatically pick it up you can take it as a festival organization you can take it as an emergency but more importantly if you take it as a good organization of a function because evidently the lady is reasonably dressed in terms of uh, normal thing i mean okay this can be common also but then don't try to make a mole or i mean mountain out of a mole you can generally perceive that this looks to be that two people are discussing lady is also contributing that lady can be a mother that gentleman one of them can be a father and one of them can be a uncle you get the point as it is a family situation taking them as a principal and this would be a little far fetched but if you feel that it can be also written then you can make them the teachers see i am not here to discuss all the possibilities i am here to give you an idea so that we can move on faster and you can get a run your brain but be a good listener also once i am giving you an idea and at that point if you are questioning me it's very clear that you are not listening to what i really want to convey to you your horizon of thought is beautiful and it should be and we want you to practice that horizon of thought to the depth possible so that you also check what are you thinking and you can open your mind to right expression see freedom of expression does not even the preamble of our constitution we check the freedom of expression which is not hitting at the unity and integrity of the nation and dignity of the individual you must have read that in the preamble we the people of india having so we resolve to constitute india yes or no we are of expression of belief faith everything but we don't want that expression should be of such category that it hits at unity and integrity of the nation or dignity of the individual similarly when you will practice your thought you yourself will understand what is beyond and what is right so i do not want to say that you are not good you are not right your idea is not acceptable but while i am giving you an idea i want you to understand it properly so that you can develop your thought and i am open to receiving your stories and checking them and sending it back to you so that's not a problem the idea is that your thought process should be relevant it should be sensible and you don't have to copy ideas from others you can also correlate with your experiences of your life that doesn't mean negative experiences alone it also means positive experiences how you tackled negative situations can be written off but crying a story 
would be unfortunately wrong because if you use a picture to write, cry your thoughts out, what will happen? People will realize that you have been negatively hurt to the extreme level that you would never gain the mental stability to perform. So I hope that none of you have been affected. If you have gone through very deep trauma, we have sympathy for you, but we won't select you. I am talking about the SSB officers. They would have sympathy for you, but they won't select you. You know what happened when prisoners of war, after that when a soldier returns and he has gone through bad trauma, then armed forces give him compassion, give them adjustment, give them relief in the hospital and sometimes send them home with pension. But they don't keep them active in the working. Now you would call this brutal. It is not. Actually it is due consideration to the gentleman. Because after a deep trauma, that person will not be able to perform the role because has gone through bad trauma. In case it is repairable, wonderful. In case it is not, then they send them home. It's not unkindness, it is sensibility. Similarly, if you write something deep traumatic stories, I'm sure that you are unnecessarily being negative in your approach. So be positive in your approach, write things, and don't try to paint pictures that, sir, I saw in that movie, so I saw this, so I wrote it. Why? Why do you want to over-dramatize? Why do you want to glamorize your hero's action? I would like to give you a hint here. All of you, please pay attention. Don't make hero-based story, make action-based story. Now you will say, what do you mean by hero-based story and action? There are some people who emphasize on hero and they over-glamorize the hero and make a story. There are some people who emphasize on the action and via completion of the action, they create a hero. So remember, a hero is created by the action. Hero is not decorated. I agree that in the movies which you see, you see that hero is decorated. But it is not so. Their real life is this, that anybody who does a good action, which is relevant of, uh, relevant enough and is worth applaud, that gentleman, that action, the person who is performing the action is considered a hero. So if your action is good, automatically whomever you created as doing the, as the doer will become the hero. And the emotion which you will give to that hero, because what are emotions? What are your thought process? They are softwares. They are softwares of your mind. It reflects about your mind. That's it. Somewhere you have to think on that. Is it clear or not clear? Understood not clear. So remember, this is clear. Now this again is a positive action picture we have, which I have defined. I will also talk about the other categories. You will automatically understand why I said positive action. Because there is nothing negative about this picture, right? It's generally a situation, a person saluting a vehicle passing, an officer standing in front of which always happens in a passing out parade or in a special parade, in Republic Day parade or a general inspection. So you can write. You can write that he prepared his inspection well and finally they did this and thus the inspection ended. Yes or no? So a number of stories can come up here, but it cannot be of some thing far related. It has to be something relevant. Now why do they give you pictures which are sometimes not necessarily everyone's life part? Why? They give you these pictures only to see your strength of thought. That are you able to read the situation and identify the action to be done? Or you think that I, since I have not done it, I won't be able to do it. There are some people who surrender to situation. There are some people who pause, dream, think and act on the situation. That is the difference. Suppose I send you to Spain suddenly, or to America suddenly, or to any other place where you have never been, maybe an African jungle for that matter. What will happen then? If you have to survive, you will start thinking logically. You will start thinking relevantly. You will use the basic learning which you have picked up and write it still. And you will use it intelligently to write it. Am I right? Yes or no? 
that is the way an intelligent person will respond. But if somebody is not intelligent, somebody is too weak, then that person will automatically surrender. I do not know. So you got to have that one thought process. Now look at this picture. This looks like a man resting with his hand, if you see it properly. There are sometimes people who are in panic disorders, they can't read a picture also. Though they are given 30 seconds to see a picture, they will not be able to understand what is this. Because their systematic thought process is not in alignment, number one. And number two, they fear what they see is right or wrong. So keep your common sense and logical always alive. In this picture, particularly, can you see that a man is resting with a hand? Somebody sleeping here, some head here, some people here. It can be, which you generally see during the games, during the military exercise, during the trekking, during the adventure sports, that you tend to take a brief energizing moment. Yes or no? Is it the stop? No, it can be that so and so. Took a small brief and after that they discussed with a friend and then they went back. Our academy had last year and year before that sponsored a lot of cricket teams and helped them fight. And I believe last time I remember very clearly LMA Warriors which we created and we went for a cricket competition there we were the underdogs, serious underdogs. But believe me, encouraging those people and standing behind them, giving them the right sense of clapping, giving them the right sense of spirit, though not interfering in the approach, but encouraging them, hey, push them to the finalist. Okay, they lost in the finals because there was a prominently too strong a team, which they had in comparison to them. But as an underdog reaching the finals was a good thing. How does it, that happen? It happens by encouraging father, encouraging brother, encouraging parent, or encouraging spouse. Everything is not certain, but if they are, then automatically one gets the heaven on earth. But if you don't get the right sense of encouragement, everything falls down, isn't it? So the whole thing is about encouragement. So this then when we can remember that they rested, they then this decided the strategy and went ahead and played the match. This can be a football match also. It can be a cricket match also. It can be a military exercise also. It can be uh, player uh, people preparing for a dramatic representation also. It can be people giving a cultural activity part also, resting for a moment. Whatever you want to write, because it depends on your biodata. You can think as for your biodata. So that is called projective technology. Now here we see a family function. I'm sure you must have enjoyed the camaraderie of a family function. Family feast is a beauty. Trust me, when you become an officer, I'll always advise some time or the other, sit down with your entire team and eat with them. And on a regular basis, you will enjoy the camaraderie which you'll enjoy never before. I know unfortunately in our modern society we have stopped thinking of eating together with the family or basically because of the different challenges of the lifestyle. But eating together and understanding each other is a beautiful exercise. A beautiful exercise to bond, to strengthen, to support, to care, to express, to unite. So you also are having a feast, right? Here everyone is helping each other. You can pick up your gender and you can write a story on this contribution. Today, gender-free participation is there. It's not necessary that the females are a great cook, men are also good cook. Females are a good organizer, men are also good organizers. Everything can be done. So don't you think that, okay, in this role I'm going to just sit at the table and eat you are a man, I am a hog, hog, hog. No, no, no. You can do everything in organizing as a young man. The, you can be identified in a thematic perception test by being in the picture, something similar, or being out of the picture also. 
that will person organize everything and you are very happy to see everybody eat together. Can we do it? It's not about you being there only. In PPT, they make you tell that you have to think of a central character in the picture. But in other stories, you have the freedom. So you can imagine. Is it clear? I hope everything is coming crystal clear to you. Now we come down to another positive action. This is uh, old people sitting and young people sitting together. You must be having father, mother, or grandmother, and you must also be remembering your parents, their anniversary time, or maybe some brother, Bobby, lately got married. Anything can be figured out here. We are not looking for a romantic uh, story display, but generally, one's person of bond and emotional attachment can be evident. So if you know how healthy it should be, it's fine. Now don't go into intricacies and don't try to make a masala picture out of it. Or, yeah, yeah or gel, deliberately writing about unnecessary things, which is unfortunately not required. You should know the decorum, the respect, the honor, the way to approach and to write. Is it clear? This can be very much an anniversary. They plan and then the grandparents also join. Now, every picture story does not require that everything has to be used, but a thought process to be picked up. A very rightfully from the story, it is rightly picked up that the parents, they were very happy to see, or maybe they have resolved a small mis misunderstanding by generally discussion and making them resolve. Yes or no? Anything can be done. But now that resolution doesn't have to be a resolution between India and Pakistan for that matter. Clear or not clear? Just go by that. So these are some of the stories which I have tried to cover. We will be again taking a small session after this of the different set of thought process. Is it clear? Thank you.